Today I share with you how to make yam and vegetable sauce. This recipe is everything delicious, so sweet. Let me show you the easiest way to make this recipe. To begin, guys, I'm going to be adding oil inside this pan. Next is for me to add in is yam. Over here is the yam we are going to be needing for this recipe. What I do is to first of all get the yam pion. I have to first of all pion the skin of the yam like this until everything is pion and come up perfect. After peeling that, I'm going to wash with clean water. Next is for me to do is to slice the yam into little bites like this so i just get everything sliced until it come out perfect like this this size is good to go i just transfer everything back inside this bowl next is to add in a salt to taste after adding the salt what i do now is to stir that together so adding the salt is a very important so this is going to enable the yam to have a nice taste and at the same time beautiful flavor so now i'm going to add in the yam inside the hot oil I get the yam fried twice, so after adding this first batch, what I do next is to stir that together like this. So what you do guys is to add the water during the frying process. So this water is going to enable your yam to fry at the same time get cooked and come out perfect like this. So don't forget to add the water if you are frying yam. It's very important. Just a pinch of water. It's not bucket of water guys. See how beautiful that look. So a little water is good to go inside the oil when you are frying the yam. It's so, so perfect as I just get my done. So that is going to enable you to have this gorgeous yam after everything. See how beautiful for that look it was so gorgeous so after frying this first batch i keep it aside the same way i'm going to fry the last part so this one is the last batch i just add that then add in the water just a little bit of it stir together and then you are going to have this gorgeous yam at cup is everything massive so this is going to enable the yam not to burn at the same time it's going to fry and come out perfect like this see how beautiful that look i keep it aside in this pan i'm going to be adding red oil then is to add in is chopped onions i just stir that together so i just stir that at the same time adding local beans adding the local beans i'm going to allow that to get fried for five minutes before i proceed i just stir together and then let this to fry for five minutes before adding any other ingredients see how god just that slow this is five minutes later the onions and the locals being fried so so beautiful now it's for us to add in is fish over here is the fish i'm going to be needing for the recipe over here we have catfish at the same time we have pala fish all i do is to get that the bone so deboning the fish is very, very important especially if you are eating this with the kids so you have to first of all get that debone until everything come out perfect and nice so you don't need all this bone okay so i just get rid of the bone so what next you do is to break the fish into little pieces like this so i'm going to break all the fish into little pieces so that is going to enable the fish to easily penetrate inside the sauce at the same time it's going to enable that to have a whole lot of taste and then come out amazing so don't forget to break the fish into pieces like this and then wash with clean water throw everything in inside the sauce like this so i just get that stir together at this point i'm going to season that with this chicken cube and the same time not cube so these two cube is good to go then i add in a little bit of salt to taste and then this is just so so perfect so this is sauce we are not going to be adding any water so don't add more spices or more seasoning okay so this is just good to go i just allow this to fry for five minutes like this and then it fries so nice at this point it's scented so perfect so now we are going to be adding the pepper base over here is the pepper base we are going to be needing i have over here red bell pepper the same time i have hot pepper onions and red tatashi so what i do now is to blend everything together until it come out perfect like this so this is what i have after blending all the peppers together so now i'm going to turn in the pepper inside the sauce like this it was so beautiful guys just follow this process you are going to enjoy your sauce like it's going to sweet you as if what did they happen for here it's too sweet guys so just get that pepper to fry at this point you don't need to add in any other ingredients just stir that until the oil settle like this so this is five minutes of fried the pepper the oil has settled and the fries so beautiful at this point so now we are going to be adding the vegetable so here is the vegetable i'm going to be using so this is green so all i do is to get that slice and then wash with clean water add that inside the stew like this and then you have it it's so so perfect so what i do now is to stir that together so so adding the vegetable at this point that simply mean our food is about to go down like 
it's not going to take time in the heat anymore just three minutes later this is what i have the vegetable cooks so nice the sauce everything is scenting so perfect at this point and now it's ready to serve so city if you haven't shared this recipe this is the right i need to share follow this process to make this gorgeous so sauce for the family everyone that eat this sauce with you is going to appreciate you it was so so delicious and this sauce go well with this fry yam i just love every bit of this recipe it was everything delicious so sweetie all you have to do is to follow this process all you need is what i show you on this video follow this process to fry your yam and the same time follow this process to make this sauce i love you in my next walk bye